What's up everyone and welcome to Will It Chug, the video series where I try out different guitar related gear. Doesn't matter if it's a cheap piece of shit guitar gear or a very expensive big one. All of them get the same Ola treatment. Will It Chug. Today I'm trying out the Axe FX3. And if you've been a follower on my channel, maybe you know that I have a soft spot for fractal stuff. I'm using the Axe 8 with the Haunted for instance. I've also had an Axe 2 back in the day. The Axe 3 has been out for a while. I've seen a bunch of videos. Sounds great. But there's one question remaining. Will it chug? That's what I'm gonna find out today. So this is just fresh out of the box. I haven't turned it on or anything like that. So in this demo, I will not be using the cabinet. This is connected straight to my audio interface. And uh, that's how I'm gonna make things chug. So I'm really excited to see how long it will take for me to make this piece of alien machinery chug. Let's go. Ooh. Ooh, it has one of those. Oh, am I gonna peel it off? No, 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 no. Let's keep it there. It's better for secondhand value, you know, if you have this. That's what I believe, at least. I'm a believer. All right, let's go. What? Okay, bass guy. I know for sure that that is not gonna help me chug. So, how do I work this? Okay, can I change presets with the wheel here? A class, top boosts. Where's the rectal, man? Brett. Okay, USA Mark IV. So there's scenes. Clean? How do I change this? Okay, not there. Ah! <laughs> that chugs, but. What's up with the reverb? Okay, let's see. Recto, now we're talking. I know Recto will chug. That's a chug, isn't it? I need to turn up the volume. Okay, pause the meter. What is... Oh, okay. Now we're talking. Now I can actually hear my shit. Okay, I think it's chugging right now. When I use an Axe FX, this is probably not the approach I would take if I would find a good sound. I would probably make my own presets to start off with. But let's just start with this rector that we have here and, and add a little bit of an overdrive maybe and just kill that reverb that... Why is it there in the first place? Okay, let's see. How do I edit this thing? I think I press edit. Okay, edit. Uh, what? Layout, okay. Layout. This is familiar. I recognize myself here. Okay. Amp cab. This is basically the single path right there. Edit. Uh, shit. Page. I wanted to add uh, overdrive. So let's try that. Okay. So there is a drive here. Can I just engage it? Maybe? Hello. How do I do? How do, how do you do? How do you do? Oh, no, I just, I just want to engage this thing here. Okay. Bypass. Ooh, shit, I hear that. Look. Thank you. 
that sounds really killer. Okay, so right now we have, uh, we have, we have a little have. Okay, tone. <laughs> I think I kind of understand. No, I don't understand. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh shit. Layout. Layout. Okay. Well, I'm. I'm good. So reverb. Reverb. See ya. Bypass. Okay. That sounds massive. Okay. Just to stop. Stop the clock. S stop it. Stop the clock. Uh, it chugs. Okay, great. Now that we have that out of the way, I just want to tweak this a little bit. Okay, uh, so let's see. Amp, amp, edit, page. Okay, here we go. <laughs> prince! <coughs> I'm a prince. Okay, let's find something cool. Dude, there's a shit ton of amps here. Uh, okay. Fri Frid Friedman. Let's do Friedman. HPE version 2. Okay, shit in my face. That sounds incredible. Uh, let's go back. How do I go back? Exit. There you go. I'm, I'm starting to learn this. Okay, bypass this. Okay. Sounds really good, like it is. Uh, right now I'm just scratching the small little surface of this thing right here. But something I really wanted to try on the Axe FX3 is the pitch shifting option. Because, you know, on the Axe 8, when I was out doing clinics and all that, uh, it was really nice to have a pitch shifter so I didn't have to bring, you know, a thousand different guitars and different tunings. I can just have one guitar and tune it down. So I'm just gonna try that out for this Willa Chug. I know it chugs. Listen. <laughs> Okay, let me add... Uh, how do I do this? None. None, okay. Pitch. Yes. How do I... What? Edit. Arpeggiator. No, that's not what I wanted. I wanted... Uh, is it a custom shifter, maybe? No, virtual capo? I'm learning this, I'm learning this. Shit. Yes. Oh, shit, two octaves? Shot my sugar. Two octaves, not really something I use, but however, like a full step down. Okay. That actually sounds great. Let me go and edit the amplifier. This is really cool because now this guitar that is tuned to drop C is playing in drop B.
So there you go. Did it chug? It chugs. I'm happy about that, but also sort of expected from this thing. Now, obviously, I'm going to make a video where I go more in depth with this thing. But I mean, so far, so good. Just by this short little couple of minutes here, I was able to create a really good song. So that's uh, that's something positive. I can't wait to actually dig in more into this uh, in a second. But for now, thank you so much for watching this video. I love you. See ya. Oh, like, thumbs up, subscribe. <laughs>